Tsunami warning is in effect after a massive 7.5 magnitude earthquake hit off the southern coast of Alaska. Happened around 4 a.m. Eastern this morning. Officials urge anyone in the warning area to move inland and find higher ground. We have some real breaking news to report at this hour. A tsunami alert has just been issued in the South Pacific after a magnitude 8.0 earthquake struck just northeast of Australia in the Solomon Islands. Powerful earthquake measuring 6.9 hit Japan late on Saturday night. Photographers capturing an incredible display in eastern Russia. Four volcanoes they found were erupting at the same time, just over 100 miles apart. This, nobody's ever seen anything like this. Four different volcanoes, four completely separate eruptions happening at the same time. It's a great story about the photographers and how they basically stumbled on this, right? Yeah, it, it turns out, I knew there were storm chasers. These guys are volcano chasers. They were on their way to a photo shoot in Dubai. They heard this eruption was going on. They canceled it, hired a daredevil helicopter pilot who drove them right into the updraft of hot air over the volcano. And they're walking over hot lava until their boots were smoking to get these shots. <laughs> now on our top story, uh, that magnitude 7.8 earthquake which struck the Iranian-Pakistani border. Early reports say there have been fatalities. Iranian officials say they expect deaths to be in the hundreds. You felt it everywhere from Cape May to Manahawk and Woodbine to North Wildwood. And all of you from Facebook to Twitter and all over social media are wondering what was that rumble through South Jersey this afternoon. Cape May County Emergency Management tells Fox 29 the South Jersey shaking was centered in Wildwood. But tonight we still don't know exactly what caused it. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Carrie Barrett. It's quite the mystery. I'm Thomas Drayton. Good to have you with us. Right now the military and the USGS aren't helping to explain it either. And then with the, with the terrible story I heard about the sinkholes, that's another thing that runs through your mind. She's talking about a sinkhole, rumors of an earthquake, a sonic boom flooded social media when this happened. None of that confirmed. In fact, no word on what caused this. Reporting live in Woodbine, New Jersey, Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News. Well, I can tell you this. People are talking about it, Seanette. In fact, our Fox 29 Facebook fans felt the shaking all over. Jamie said she felt it in Wildwood Crest. Chantel said she felt it twice in Galloway. Judy heard the boom in Malaga, but no shaking. And Julie said she felt it in Linwood, New Jersey. Well, we've been trying to get answers all day about what exactly this was, but so far, no one seems to know. You can see the windows vibrating in this surveillance video from Roger Wilco Liquor on Wellington Avenue in Ventnor, then the stunned reaction of employees inside. This happened shortly after 3 Tuesday afternoon, and people throughout Atlantic, Cape May, and Cumberland counties say they felt it. Now, the Shore region was shaken last Wednesday by a similar incident, which was also recorded at the liquor store and remains a mystery as well. We checked with the U.S. Geological Survey. They say there haven't been any earthquakes here. The military tells us they weren't doing any exercises in the area either. Luckily, we haven't gotten any reports of damage or injuries. Talking about the earthquakes, they hit Oklahoma early this morning. Overnight from 2 a.m. to the latest one at 5.15, News 9's Rusty Surrett is live for us this morning. Five earthquakes rocking central and northeast Oklahoma, and these things were felt all the way from here in Oklahoma City down south to Chickasha, Weatherford, Fairview, Stillwater, even on over to Tulsa. We've got a timeline and a map to kind of give you an idea of where and when all of this started, and it was at about 1.45 this morning was the very first one. That was an estimated three miles west of Chandler. The 
U.S. Geological Survey saying that was a 3.0. 15 minutes later, right at 2 this morning, a very strong 4.3 earthquake shook the Oklahoma City metro area. This is the big one that most everyone felt at about 2 a.m. The Earth. Pettit, thanks for joining us. We're following a developing story right now that has people in several counties in our viewing area wondering what was that sound? Dozens of you have let us know about a loud boom or explosion between 6.30 and 8.30 tonight. We received reports about it from Mount Vernon, Nixa, Ozark, Aurora, and Reed Spring. But so far, authorities say they've been unable to determine the source of the blast. We can rule out an earthquake at this point. The last one recorded anywhere near us was more than 12 hours ago near Oklahoma City. It's not just hot out there, it's record-breaking hot. This spring was the hottest since the government began keeping records in 1895. 150 million Americans have spent some portion of the past week under a heat warning. In tiny Norton, Kansas last week, it hit 118 degrees, hotter than Death Valley. Residents in Australia are feeling the heat as the temperature in Sydney hits a record high. The mercury rose up to 114.4 degrees in Sydney and to almost 116 degrees at the city's airport. Well, parts of Australia are on track for a record March heat wave. National meteorologist David Brown is, of course, keeping across it. Brownie, it seems summer's not quite over for some of us. Yeah, that's right, uh, Beck, and good afternoon. In fact, uh, most of southeast Australia is looking at a record heat wave for this time of year. Australia's record-breaking heat wave is continuing to fuel outbreaks of wildfires across scores of thousands of hectares in the southeast of the country. and 165 record high temperatures in the month of June. This as we just start July. And take a look at those red dots. The fiery red dots are in the middle of all those record high temperatures that you see. The yellow ones represent the 3,000. Those red dots are the warmest temperatures ever in cities. Folks, this has never happened before. Nashville, Tennessee, 109 degrees. Atlanta, Georgia, 106. Look at Raleigh at 105. We were on pace with the temperatures that were in Saudi Arabia and deserts all over the country with some of the hottest temperatures in the world. Now, with that heat came an awful lot of storms. About a 1,000 storms kicked off on Friday, and then we had 800 yesterday. Our Ginger Z is in Arlington. We're Ginger, right where you are, my family, part of the millions of folks who spent the weekend without power this morning. Good morning, Ginger. Good morning, Sam, and good morning, everyone. This is one of so many neighborhoods, not only in Virginia, where you see trees and the power lines, a virtual minefield in the streets, but anywhere from the Carolinas to Ohio. They had round after round of severe storms, and now the extreme heat. Powerful winds up to 90 miles per hour blew through Chicago late Sunday. It came with teeming rain and hail. The storms dropped Chicago's temperature by 20 degrees quick but did little to cool off the rest of the country, still sweating it out. This morning, at least three million homes are without power across seven states. At least 14 confirmed dead, all after this powerful line of storms blew through from the Midwest to the Mid-Atlantic Friday. Oh, oh my God! The storms did the usual, but did it big, taking down power lines, uprooting trees, and forcing a weekend of cleanup with temps climbing as high as 106 degrees in Atlanta, breaking the all-time record hot. The big chill, 133 million Americans in this together. All day, these pictures were streaming into our newsroom, Wisconsin, Chicago, New York, and Washington, D.C. All of us apparently doing anything we could to stay warm. Take a look at that. In fact, it was so cold today, the Great Lakes had a wind chill of minus 40, which feels colder than the North Pole.
hold over two thirds of the country, along with some weird extremes. It's expected to be 75 degrees colder in Maine this week than it was last week. 75 degrees, and this latest push of Arctic air has already made its way all the way south to Florida. NBC's Kevin Tibbles is with us from the grip of it in Chicago. Kevin, good evening. Brian, tonight bitter cold and treacherous winds have much of the country hunkering down, and this blast of winter is likely to last through to the weekend. Frigid, treacherous, Siberian, all describe eerie Pennsylvania. The wind is vicious here. The wind chill is absolutely freezing. It is so cold in parts of the UK right now, even the sheep are shivering. Farmers struggle with conditions far colder than they used to in March. With lambing season here, they are losing livestock fast. There's probably at least 60 years that have gone. Uh, as far as the lambs are concerned, well, that's, that could be in the hundreds. Power cables are down. Thousands have been without electricity in areas of Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. This has been the coldest March for 50 years. Polar scientists are trying to work out whether shrinking sea ice is linked to record cold temperatures in Britain and Northern Europe. Take a look at this amazing satellite picture of the blizzard of 2013. You can see why this snowstorm paralyzed some of the most heavily populated areas of this country. The stats are now coming in and they are very impressive. The worst hit town, Hamden, Connecticut, where they got an astonishing 40 inches. It was a record breaker in Portland, Maine, a place used to snowstorms. They got nearly 32 inches from this one. And to give you a sense of the power of the storm, the winds were as strong as a category one hurricane with gusts up to 83 miles an hour on the Cape, that's Cape Cod. And uh, speaking of Massachusetts, that's where meteorologist Ginger Z is this morning. She's in Boston. Hey Ginger, good morning. Good morning to you, Dan. You know, Boston was one of the area's hardest hit and record making here. It was the fifth largest snowfall on record. Overnight, the snowstorm intensified, blanketing parts of Long Island under more than a foot of snow. Okay, go, push it, go. Cars stranded on the Long Island Expressway were stopped dead in their tracks by road conditions. urgent now and just in a magnitude 6.2 earthquake has just struck in Guatemala only about six miles to the southeast of its capital city that's according to the US Geological Survey keep in mind experts warn a magnitude 6 quake could trigger significant damage to cities and other very populated areas we an earthquake struck Mexico this morning the US Geological Survey said a magnitude 5.5 earthquake hit the southwest of Pinotepa Nacional, the Pacific coast of Mexico. Less than 10 minutes later, a second quake hit with magnitude 5.1. It was about 230 miles south-southeast of Mexico City. So as we saw in some of the video that's coming online now, uh, the early warning system there in Mexico was able to alert people that some shaking was on its way. Video showed swaying of buildings, uh, thousands of people evacuating out into the streets. Of the quake, buildings damaged across a wide area. The quake struck at just before 8 o'clock in the morning, local time. The force of it made the earth move at up to 10 centimeters per second. Survivors are still being found and rescued two days and a night after this earthquake hit. Thousands of soldiers with military helicopters that are now ambulances are taking the injured out.
The death toll appears to have stopped rising significantly, but there are an alarming number of wounded. is still recovering from Superstorm Sandy. It killed 147 people and left $50 billion in damage. A new forecast warns this year's hurricane season could be even worse. Professor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at the City University of New York. He's also a CBS This Morning contributor. Good morning. Morning. So how worried should we be about this season's forecast? Well, this is a wake-up call. Uh, as Yogi Berra once said, it's deja vu all over again. We're going to be hitting hurricane season in two more months. And this new report from Colorado State University says there's a 72% chance of a major hurricane hitting the United States this season, a 50% increase in the frequency and number of these hurricanes compared to the 1980s and 1990s. This could be maybe a, a new normal. And we have to be prepared for Hurricane Sandy 2.0. an incredible story about something most people will never see. Four different lightning strikes in the same spot. Sam Sweeney spent the day with those who saw it and has the unbelievable video. They say lightning never strikes twice in the same spot, but how about four times? It's definitely the closest I've ever seen a, a lightning strike. This surveillance video caught everything on tape. Lieutenant Jay Kircher says he and his crew were sitting in the operations center when they heard the crack and saw four lightning bolts come down and make a meteor-like hole right in the center of the tarmac. Look at this, you can see multiple lightning bolts here, right? Well, scientists have just discovered that lightning isn't always visible. It's this phenomenon called dark lightning, and apparently it's just as powerful. If you get hit by a dark lightning strike, you won't die, at least not immediately, because it's a radiation strike, hmm. not a lightning or bolt strike. And the main way that you would ever get hit by this is if you're flying through a thunderstorm. Now, most airplane pilots, airplanes fly around the storms, so there's no real risk. But if your plane gets hit by one of these dark lightning strikes, it's about one out of a thousand strikes would be a dark strike. You would see maybe a small purple haze around the plane, and you would get a lifetime supply of radiation in less than one second. first images from Florida of that cavernous sinkhole that swallowed a home and a young man in his bedroom and ABC's Gio Benitez shows us he is there. This is our first look at the massive sinkhole that swallowed up 37 year old Jeff Bush while sleeping in his bed. Look closer, authorities tell ABC News the sinkhole, about 30 feet wide and 100 feet deep, could well extend underneath the two neighboring homes. See what the tops of his bed, I didn't see nothing else. So I jumped in the hole and tried digging him out. And I couldn't get him, all I could hear was, I thought I could hear him screaming for me and holler for me to help me, but I couldn't do nothing. The hole inside this house kept expanding around him. Swallowed his whole bed. His dresser, everything in his room was gone. Ain't nothing in his room there at all, nothing more. 
96 and Houston, a huge sinkhole. Jess, tell us about it. Jose, it is right in the middle of this residential neighborhood, right in the middle of the street. Let's take you right to it here. Uh, Joan Bronio, my photographer, can show you that there are three cars inside of the earth that opened up, swallowed them whole. Uh Terrifying moments on the Garden State Parkway when a four-foot sinkhole opened in the middle of the road, causing more than a dozen wrecks. It's April 10th, 2013, 12.40 a.m. Pacific Time. And up next, Samara. The Russian city is being eaten alive as cars, buses, and trucks disappear, swallowed by giant sinkholes. Transport officials in Ohio are scrambling after a sinkhole more than a thousand feet long devoured part of a rural highway. The hole is 30 feet deep and the size of four football fields and could get even bigger. WKYC has more on what happened. Within 15 minutes, it had torn off a big chunk of State Route 516. The asphalt plunging toward the bottom of what had been a hay field. While no one investigates like these four, they've happened here and across the country. Mysterious booming noises that for the most part have gone unexplained. The booms have shaken homes and startled neighbors. Tonight, News 4's Rachel Kingston is asking what's really going on. Trying to get the answer to that question for the last month. No one seems to know what is causing these weird booms. Not police. Not scientists, not even the military. Are they man made or natural? You're about to see the best evidence we've gathered, and we'll let you decide. Sunday, January 13th, 6 15 p.m. Chautauqua County dispatch is inundated with calls about a loud boom shaking houses and rattling nerves across the southern part of the county. Viewers in Jamestown, Lakewood, Busti, Kennedy, Delavan, Asheville, and elsewhere told News 4 the deep rumbling noise sounded like thunder, cannons firing, or an explosion. In the southern Erie County town of Evans, Police Chief Ernest Masulo confirms they experienced a boom on Friday, January 18th. Approximately uh, 4.23 in the afternoon, we started receiving phone calls of a loud noise. Some of the people on the call described it as an explosion. Some described it as a boom. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, hi. Uh, we don't know, actually. No, it's a really loud boom. It sounds like it comes from the back of our house. We just heard it here at the town hall, but we have no idea what it is. Could you uh, please tell me, did you hear that noise? Yes, we did. explosion? Yes, we did. I don't see anything. I, it just, like... The heck out of These phenomena are not unique to Western New York. People all over the United States are hearing and feeling mysterious loud booms. Investigative reporter Linda Moulton Howe began investigating them in 2011. Just since October, Howe has documented booms in 25 different regions across the country. That people would describe as being something that shook either their <laughs> bottoms of their feet, their legs, their houses, their windows. Many of the current reports have been that something is coming from the sky. Some of these booms have been accompanied by huge bright flashes of light, including this one, captured by a security camera in Salem, Massachusetts on January 5th. 
is something bigger going on that even local authorities and scientists aren't aware of. We did check all the specific flight times. We did not have any aircraft in the air over that area at that time. There was not an earthquake. There was not a mine collapse. I didn't even see any quarry blasting going on. And we're unable to come up with any uh, plausible explanation on what the noise was. The geologists say it's not in the ground. The Air Force says it's not in the air. The astronomers say it's not from space. So we're running out of options. Millions of Americans bracing for the impact, everything from stalled trains and planes to tornadoes. And here is the map, an area from the Florida Panhandle to New York under a severe weather warning. ABC's Steve Osinsami is outside Atlanta tonight in Adairsville, Georgia, where one powerful tornado has already torn through town. An hour north of Atlanta, an amazing picture. The sky was falling. We've got debris now flying to the left and center of this system. The uh, sirens have been going off here. The wind is picking up along with the rain. Saturday morning as hundreds of thousands wake up to sheer devastation. Just take a look at this unbelievable destruction from the ferocious weather that raked through the heart of the country. Homes, schools and businesses, entire towns all gone, flattened in a flash. This massive storm spawned more tornadoes in one day than we usually see in an entire month all the way from the Gulf Coast to the Great Lakes. Huge storm, you can see it right there on the map. Here's what we know right now, at least 29 people dead, 13 in Indiana, 14 in Kentucky, and two in Ohio. This is the second round of killer tornadoes, just this week. 95 tornadoes ripped through yesterday. If those are all confirmed reports, this would be the greatest tornado day, one day event in March for all history official 2012 was the hottest year in the United States since weather scientists started keeping records and hotter not by a little but by a landslide. The extraordinary heat. Let's take you straight to the map this evening. Look at the deepest reds on the map. 45 states with temperatures 90 and above and as you can see so many in triple digits tonight. And look at this even more telling more than 3100 heat records broken in the last month alone. The worst Arctic storm systems to hit a wide section of the country in years. It has gone from dangerous now to deadly. Minnesota's wind chills could be as low as 50. That's five zero below with a this is Skyu. This winter it has received more than five and a half meters of snow, the most ever recorded anywhere in Japan. major damage to at least three villages in Santa Cruz in the east of the country. It also caused a Pacific-wide tsunami alert to be put into effect. That several villages have been destroyed in the Solomons after an earthquake and tsunami struck at a depth of 5.8 kilometres near the Santa Cruz Islands. Happening again, a big space rock the size of a city block is expected to head our way next hour. Uh, this meteor exploded over Russia just uh, a month ago, last month, and now we have this, and there was an asteroid last weekend. How common are these uh, these objects? Is this just sort of a weird time? And should we be concerned about a potential impact?
big and brilliant comet arriving in November 2013. It could potentially be 15 times brighter than the moon and visible in broad daylight over the U.S.